Game two of the College World Series in Omaha, Michigan took game one, looking to become national champions on Tuesday, while Vanderbilt looked to force a game three behind Kumar Rocker, and Rocker had it working early. Jordan Wogu down swinging. Jimmy Kerr, same fate. Jesse Franklin down swinging as well. Rocker struck out five of the first six Wolverine batters he faced and finished with 11 Ks. Top five, still no score runners on the corners. Austin Martin, a slow dribbler to the left side. It's a ground out to first, but the run comes in. one nothing Vandy, first time Michigan has trailed in the College World Series. Sixth inning now, Jack Weisenberger's pitch goes to the backstop, bringing in another Commodore's run, making it 2 to nothing. Later in the sixth, another pitch getting past Joe Donovan, brings in another Vanderbilt run. Commodore's on top, 3 to nothing. Top seven, Philip Clark goes deep to right on a line, and this one gets over the wall for a solo shot. Vanderbilt on top, four to nothing. Bottom of the frame, Tyler Brown on in relief of Rocker. Akeo Thomas rips one through the left side of the infield. The runner scoring from second on the play. Michigan gets on the board. Cuts the deficit to three at 4-1. That inherited runner charged to Rocker. He went six and a third. One run allowed on three hits for the ninth. But Brown, later in the inning, strikes out Jordan Brewer to get out of a jam. Bottom nine, Brown has Michigan down to its last out. And Thomas grounds out to third. Vandy wins 4-1 to force a game three. Brown gets his fourth College World Series save. 